Hello guys, I hope you all doing good. Welcome to this new video. In the previous problem, we had seen how to get the value from a string path in an object. In this problem, we'll see an alternate of that. Basically, what we have to do is we'll be given an object and a string path or an array path, and we have to set the value on that path in the object. Now here, the object can have the existing path or cannot have. So if the path does not exist, we have to create one. And if the path exists, we have to update the value. We cannot override the uh, value type. I mean, we cannot change the value from string to object, but we can update the value. So if the value is string, you can update it to number or anything else. And similarly, if the path does not exist, then we have to create the path and we have to set the value on that path. So in the example, if you see, we have an empty object and we have a path over here defined. The first path defined is in string format. So we have to create a key with a and then array on the array zeroth value. We'll have an object B, which will have a child object C and the C will have the value four. Similarly, in the second example, you see that we have an object and we have an array path. Array path defines that we'll first have a key x then 0 0 indicates the array index so we'll have an array and on the 0th index of the array we'll have an object with the key y that y will have a child with the key z and z will have the value phi so once you print this you should get phi in the output when you print the path similarly for the first example so let's start implementing this here because the path can be of two types one is string and then one is array we have to convert them to a mutual uh, you know a common path so that it can be used throughout the application so i am going to convert the string path to array because in the array we will have the keys uh, on the separate index so it will be easier for us to iterate them and set the values on that uh, basically what we'll do is we'll remove these square brackets from the string and on the period operator on the dot we'll split them and then we'll have the multiple keys so if you notice over here the opening square bracket determines a new key that means if i replace this opening square bracket with a dot so a dot zero and then when i replace this closing spring uh, uh, square bracket with empty space so it will become a dot zero dot b dot c and if i split that on dot i will get the four characters in the array which is a zero b and c so let's start implementing this let me create this set method so const set and it will accept the object the path and the value as input and here let me define and path array and it will accept or assign the original path to it now we'll check if the path array is of type string so if the path array is of type string we'll have to process the string and we have to extract the key in the form of arrays so what we'll do is as i explained we'll replace so on the string there is a replace all method available natively in javascript and will replace the opening square bracket with period operator so that it defines that the next character after the opening square bracket is a key only so it will become a dot zero and similarly will replace all the closing square brackets with empty space because after that there is already a period operator so we'll just replace this with the empty space and then we'll split the string on the period operator and this will give us the array of characters if the path is of array type nothing will happen if the path is only of string type then this processing will take place and it will be converted to the array path once we have the array path we'll use a helper function and to that helper function we'll pass the object the path array and this will recursively help us to set the value at the given path in the object so let's create this helper function const helper and this will accept the object the path 
and the value basically the path over here is the path array from that path array i am going to destructure the current key and the remaining key because on the current key only we have to set the values so the first part i am going to do is i am going to destructure the current key and the rest of the keys from the path now here i am going to add a check if rest dot length is greater than 0 that means if we have more keys and we have to go dive deep into the object nestedly then only we'll have to do the further processing otherwise we can directly assign the value on the current key and return that so object dot current equals to value so if there are no more keys available then we don't have to do any type of processing we can directly assign the value to the current key in the object and then we can return the object otherwise here we are going to add a check the first check we are going to add is we'll check if the object dot current exists or not so if the object dot current is defined or not if it is undefined that means the key does not exist so we will have to create the key and here while creating the key we have to make sure that the next or the child of this current object will be of which type so if the key is of type numeric that means we will have to create an array otherwise we will have to create an object for example if the key is zero that means we have to create an array otherwise if it is of type b c or any other character we have to create object so i am going to add a check over here const is numeric and here i am going to use a simple test so i am going to convert the next value because depending upon what is the key of the next right so currently we are at a the next key is zero so because it is zero we have to create an array for a that's why here i am checking the value of the first index in the remaining of the keys and so this plus operator converts the character into numeric value so if it is zero it will be converted to numeric zero otherwise it will remain character only string and then we are going to do a check and we will test if the number is or if the character is numeric or not so this will do a sanity uh, a parity check sorry a strict equality check on the type and it will convert the first character from the remaining keys and check if it is of type numeric or not if it is numeric then in the object we will set it as array otherwise we will create an object now once we have decided if it will be an object or an array here we are going to add another check so if the current type if the current is of type object that means either it is array or object then we have to do a recursive processing so the same path will copy but because we have updated the current type here right if the current type is not defined we are defining it and then once it is defined we have to assign a value to that so to assign the value what we'll do is we'll call the helper function again and in the helper function i am passing the base object over here so depending upon the check if it is object or array so you can directly pass the object dot current also over here I am using the previous check only just to be double sure so depending upon it is object or array and then we have to pass the rest of the keys and values so this will recursively call the same function and it will update the value otherwise what we'll do is here 
in the helper function will pass the value of the current object so if the object is not defined we have assigned the next keys uh, appropriate type and if the object is already defined then we have to pass that object only over here object dot current and then the rest and the value and it will recursively call itself and depending upon the value it will assign the value to it so depending upon the type it will assign the value to it and ultimately it will return the processed object so that's it our definition is ready let's try to run this so here if you see i have passed the empty object and to this i have passed this path and when i am printing this path so it has successfully set the value 4 and it is printing 4 over here similarly for the next path you see that it has successfully set the value on this path and it is printing fire as output now when i print the original object you will see that it has first created a key a then an object and uh, sorry an array and in that array the zeroth value holds an object with the key b and c and c has the value 4 similarly there is another key x it also holds an array and on that array zeroth index we have an object with value y and y holds z and z's value is 5 so 5 is getting printed if you have this path already defined so it will just update the value for example let me copy this and let have this value as 3 so now if i run this again you will see that 3 will be updated to 4 so see 3 is updated to 4 and in the output you also see that 3 is updated to 4 so it overrides the overrides the existing value and if the value is not present it will create a new value but it will not change the type so let's say tomorrow uh, sorry let's say you come over here and change this to c to d and then assign the value 4 so it will not update the c value to another object and then do d to 4 because it will not be able to determine if we have to update this as a key so for that you will have to make additional changes and that i leave up to you as a practice so you make the additional change and you accept the keys and you override this value with the object or array i hope you have learned something new thank you for your time